Hi guys, let me see if I can move the camera just a little bit. Just gonna turn it up here for just a moment, just so you can see what I'm doing. I actually am coming on today to um, post a video of a paint pour on a table. And actually this was because a friend of mine um, took a look at one of my paintings a couple of days ago and wondered if it was done on a table. And it actually was on a uh, 16 by 20 canvas, but it got me thinking that I should totally try doing the pour on the table. So Mike Montgomery, this is for you, just in case you wanted to see. Um, this actually is an old table from our living room. We've had it for years. Um, it's actually one of the very first pieces of furniture that I ever owned, and it was given to me by friends that used to live behind um, my uncle. When I first moved to Edmonton, um, I lived in my uncle's basement, and there was these people that lived across the alley behind him that when I moved out of my uncle's basement and got my own apartment here in Edmonton, they gave me a housewarming gift of two end tables. And uh, this is one that I still have. So it's quite a few years old and was in need of, of, of some refinishing. So I started by um, using, I'll show you what it is here. I had to strip the table. So I started by using Easy Strip. And it's a super awesome product. You just pour it on, let it sit for about half an hour. And then just use a putty knife and it scrapes off all of that old finish. And uh, yeah, then I gave it a light sanding and now I've given it a white top coat. So I'm going to start. So I'm going to focus mostly on the table. If you stand up and see my legs, you'll have to bear with me. Let's see if I can get the camera pointed down just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to add a layer. My living room colors are mostly gray, purple, turquoise. So that's the colors that I'm going to use on the table today. And I'm going to start by giving it a really nice, even coat of gray paint. This is going to help the paints flow really nicely. Sorry, I just need to go grab a glove. This is because I get very, very messy when I'm painting, so I like to get my hands dirty. It's like being a kid and getting to play in the paint. So I'm going to smooth that all over the table, right to the edge. And again, you want this to be fairly thick because you want your paint to flow. And it's okay that it's dripping off. It's going to. You want a nice flat surface. You want to make sure you don't have any paint bits or too many bubbles. Now this is actually just gray paint, about half and half gray paint and a flow medium. Right now I'm using Liquitex Flow Aid. Just helps the paint flow much smoother across the canvas or surface that you're working on. And also helps with crazing and cracking. So once that's on, dry my hand off a little bit. Now I'm going to start mixing the paint that I'm going to pour. So I'm actually going to use a red Solo Pep and I'm just going to start pouring in the paint. So today we're using two types of turquoise. So there's one one a slight shade darker, then we're going to use purple, and I'm going to use a royal blue. I'm going to use white, and I'm going to also just use the remainder of what's left of that gray paint. Now, to get some of the really nice cell formation um, in just a couple of the pieces, or the couple, couple of the paint colors, choose which ones you kind of want to highlight the most. 
put a couple of drops of some kind of silicone oil. One of my favorites actually is a dollar store product and it's silicon hair oil from Aussie. I know it sounds really strange, but it's my favorite of all the silicone oils I've tried. I really like it. I like it. it gives me really nice big cells. I already have some in the white, so I'm actually just going to add two or three pumps into the remainder of the gray paint that I have and give that a good stir. Now, get these all open so that they're easy to mix into the cup. And you're just going to start layering, little by little, a mixture of the colors in your cup. So I'm going to start with the white. Then I'm going to go to purple, and I'll show you what it looks like with a close-up in a minute. A little bit of that royal blue. Turquoise. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the gray. When I'm mixing my paints, I usually use about, um, I mix them in these little eight ounce bottles. I find them really handy and they also have little stoppers so you can just close them up when you don't use them all. I use about four ounces of pouring medium, about three ounces of paint color, and um, one to two ounces of water. You want a fairly runny consistency because you want it to flow quite smoothly. So then I'll go in with that second turquoise. Gonna go back in with the royal blue. A little bit of the purple. That first turquoise. A little more white. A little more of the gray. And I'm just gonna keep layering until I think that I have enough to cover the table. Okay, so stand up here and I'll come show you what the paint looks like in the cup. You can kind of see all the layers in there. So now I'm gonna get these up out of the way. So now, I kind of want to create a design through the center, I think, and leave the outer sides with that gray finish. So I'm actually going to start pouring close to the center edge. And I'm going to use a little bit of a circular motion. a little back and forth just to create a little bit of dimension and again this is going to pour over the edges and that's okay I have made sure that I covered it all I covered the legs so that we're not going to get any paint where we don't want it now it's going to get a little loud because I'm going to use a blow dryer to kind of blow the paint around where I want it.
now I'm going to go in with just the solid turquoise. I want a little bit of a line right through the middle here, I think. I'm going to put some extra paint in there. And then I'm going to blow again. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of purple. just a little bit this way. So I'm going to tilt the table. And we're going to tilt the table the other way. Smooth down the edges. The nice thing about this method is that you have a free edge. So I'll take a close up. I'll take the camera down in just a minute and give a little close up of what it looks like. down at this end. Maybe this end too. Go in with that other turquoise. And then I'm going to go in with some of the white. to the blow drill there. tip the table a little bit this way again, just to get that paint to flow a little bit right to the edge. And then flow a little bit this way. You can already see the cells starting to form. Just that little tiny bit, just a couple of drops of that silicone oil. Now, the last thing I do, once I have it all poured, is I take my heat gun to it, and that will help pop any air bubbles in the paint. And it will also help some of those cells really pop.
Ooh, there's a little bit of turquoise over a little bit more. a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to remove my glove here. Try and get my phone off of here without getting paint all over it. And hi, how's everybody? I'm just gonna turn the camera here real quick. And let's have a look at what that looks like. So see that free edge, it just allows the paint to kind of come right over the edge. this side too. So now I'm going to leave this to dry overnight and tomorrow I'm going to come back on and do a second layer. Um, as I build these I put different layers on them and then I do an epoxy resin top coat. It gives it a really nice glass like finish. And the epoxy resin that I use is a food safe resin. So it's most commonly used on bar tabletops. So it's really, really nice and durable, can be washed and stands up for years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Here is the beautiful table. Sorry that I got my big ugly fluorescent lights on here so you can see the glare. Let's see if we can move somewhere where there's no glare. All right, there we go. Bye, guys. Oh, I can't even touch my phone to finish the video because my hand is full of paint. Just one second. <laughs> Whoop, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you.